from inside Lone Deep. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Nolan Shonowell. And a pitch. And a pitch. And a foul and ball. A foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a ball Swing lifted ball in the air. In shallow the air, left shallow field. Left and that will get down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now, now, here's Aaron Hicks. Here's Aaron Hicks. Hit behind with that swing. It's strike one. This has always, this been, always the been the better side, side for Aaron Hicks. For Aaron Hicks. Fly, ball down, Fly the ball line. down the line. And that drops and foul. That drops foul. And the 2 And the 2 on the ground, the short, the ground could, be short could be two. The throw to second, throw to second. and that's two. Yeah, that's two. Here's Trout. Yeah. Up the middle, Up and the he knocks, middle it down. And knocks it down. To first, and he beats it. He beats it. Brandon Drury to the play. To the play. And misses. and misses. That's strike one. one. Strike one. one, one. And yeah, he gets tied, yeah, up, gets right tied up right there. Quickly in an 0 2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Then you got a chance. Swing and a miss. The velocity. The velocity right past it. Right past it. Low and deep ball park. Deep ball park. And on the mound today, Reed Detmer. What do we need to know here? It's always interesting, it's always to, see interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how, pitches how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. And when he's right, yeah, he's, right. he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel. And that can make life very difficult on his opponents. That's in there. And misses and misses and one out and down. one out down. No, there's a small no, sign of relief right, right there. I mean, just to keep that just speed off the base paths. It's, it's, it's not just the pitcher. It's, it's other guys, guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, infielders think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Luis Arias stands in now stands and watches now. strike and one. Strike one. Fouled off. Fouled he was late. Off. He was late. Anderson, Anderson the runner at first, with one gone to the inning. And the river's outside. The river's outside. Knocks that one away, that and, one we'll away. Do it again. and we'll do it again. At the belt and fight. Belt and fight. Fights it off. We'll see another. We'll see another. That That's just all. misses. That's and all. the count is two and, and two. Is two, and, two. and he hits a ground and ball a ground right ball side right into the outfield base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Back to back singles. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Two on, one out. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Oh, and two now. Roll the short, possible two ball. Quick feed to second for one, and that's two. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the catcher comes up to him. Logan O'Hoppy. There's a strike. Chew now. Oh, chew now. Swing and a miss. Oh, it's 
take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Misses oh, just misses off the just outside off. edge. I think that was a strike. Played umpire, Earl Hendricks. Yeah, with Hendricks, yeah, we're kind of interesting. He's, he's a good, consistent good umpire, umpire, but you do hear that he kind of favors one side of the plate more than the other. So it's really so, hard to know really for sure, know but I think sure, that think usually that it has to do something with where he sets up prior each pitch. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Swings through that yeah. one for strike one. one. Strike Chris, the players one. ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies, tendencies so you're not that surprised? So not that surprised. I'd say the latter, say the because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to our strengths. So, swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back here in Miami, we head to the bottom of the second. And at the plate for Miami, Jazz Chisholm Jr. They had a foul ball. They had a foul ball. Chisholm Chism goes five goes feet, five 11, feet inches, 11 inches, 185 pounds, pounds, and he was born, and he in, was the born in the Bahamas. Yeah. A little up front yeah. there as he swings there's through. There's swings through. No ball. Two no ball. Two that one, one this is in the dirt. This is in the dirt. Swing and a miss, struck him, him out, and him way and out way front of the slur. Brian Delacruz, the, the next up for the Marlins. Right through there for a strike. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Bottom of the second. And there's a foul yeah, there's ball. A foul ball. Right with a double. Waste no time there. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his backpack to the back line. Caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Runner in scoring position now. And a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Fouls that off to the left. And we'll do it again. Well, we're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two out double made this inning interesting. Gets a piece. And stays alive. And on second, two down. On the ground to third. Fair ball. Around third. He will score, and the Marlins have the lead. One nothing. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Nick Cortez. That's in there. It's all wrong. That's a bullet. Second, headed for third. Coming home. He'll score, and they lead by two. A 
has now three hits in a row for the offense. He's definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first base down for the knock. Chopped left side. Red Dole. Red Dole. Gets it to first. Gets it to first. And that'll keep more that'll runs, from keep more coming. runs from coming. Top half of the third Top inning. The and now the shortstop, the Zach, shortstop Neto. Zach Neto. Swings through that. Swings through After that. putting up a nice yeah. inning oh, on offense, nice. got oh, some runs nice. across. This, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't get that other team any hope. I just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. One up, one down. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. There, we'll do it again. Deal two. Deal two. Struck him ah, out, out swinging. Some high keys for strike three. For strike three. And now and Nolan Shadowell. Nolan Shadowell. Offering is fouled off. Two outs. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The wind of the pitch. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still one and two count. One and two count. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And it's a three up. It's a three up. Bottom of the inning. Bottom and now the for the Marlins, Tim Marlins. Anderson. Tim Anderson. Right through there for a strike. Right through there for a strike. Now a screamer now into a the screamer outfield. Into the outfield. And that gets... Two. Open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami. Jake Berger. In there for strike one. Anderson, the base runner first with one out. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Hold the string of the changeup. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. In for a strike, and the count is 0-2. And That's a little bit low. A little bit low. Next pitch is outside. Next pitch is outside. Three. And down on strikes he goes. strikes he goes. That's the third out. That's the third out. In and we're back. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Lizardo. Back to work. Back to work. Line drive. Line and that should be extra bases. Be extra bases. Around first and hustling Around for second. And, hustling for second. And, and one pitch into the and inning. It's a lead off double. It's a lead off double. Well, that started and ended well, pretty quickly. No messing around. For the second time today. Second time today. This one in the air. This one in the air. Bethencourt moving under this one. Brings it in, 
One away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath a little bit and popped it up. That one ripped, but that foul. One ripped, but foul. Swing to the middle. The next strike two. The Angels down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. And that's down it away. That's down it away. Kicks and fires. Kicks and fires. Inside and in. Hit him. He had him one. He had him one.
two, and he ends up hitting them with a pitch. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Yeah. Big swing and a miss. Well, all eyes on, on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That's ball, inside. inside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute ah. and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, Good it's going to bring in some runs. Now all leave it up. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. He's mixing his pitches really well. Late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Ground ball could be two. Throw gets by him at second. Runner around third. He'll score easy. Now he breaks his bat. In plenty of time to first two away. Taylor Ward, like the next to hit for the Angels. Struck out on just three Ooh. pitches last time. And he deals. This one in the air right field. Squeezes it. And that's the third out. Back here at Lone Depot Park. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Brian De La Cruz. The pitch. Liner to second and picked on the hop. On to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. And no, ball that one. That's the ball. Offering is in for a strike. One out, base is empty. Right ah, through there for a strike. Two. One and two. Rip to third. Zips it across. Already two gone here in the home four. The first baseman. And up next for Miami, Christian Bethencourt. Foul ball there. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In the air, left side. Hicks is there for it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here with my pal Siggy. New inning getting started. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. The shortstop oh. takes a ball. You know, these Angels definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. They're swinging it more than... Chisholm ranging back. Grabs it right up against the wall. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Chisholm. Pitch and he just misses. Hard.
hard hit. Right side. Gathers and throws to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Birdie yeah. batting with one down takes a strike. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. The lefty, the 1-0. And that's in there at the knees. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So one out with two aboard. Luis Arise stands in. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. In the air, out towards left center, and that's a base hit. Doesn't stop. Heads for home. One runs in. Throws to second. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Oh, one. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume no, speaks for miss, itself. And misses inside. strikeouts so out of the pen comes the right-hander Robert Stevenson still pretty early in the ball game so this bullpen has some work ahead of them best case scenario might be oh now this is blasted way back there on the Should be extra bases. Makes the turn. Man at second with one away. Yeah. Three. That's the right field. Ten one the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew.